contestants to the stage. Give big love, Gavin Bandit. So Im immortal. Immortal, is that Matt Brown's old school? Yes, it's still his school. It is, okay, it's <laughs> yeah. his school now. Yes. Matt Brown retired, but he didn't retire his school. So yes, I, I got it, I love it, thank you. Yeah, we'll see uh, Danny Sullivan out of there a little bit later. Good. She was actually belted under us, but now she trains out there. Years ago, I was Matt's training partner for about a year. Neither of us were good at jiu-jitsu, and George Grizel would stick us together. He would say, speak for yourself. Here we go. Well, <laughs> he would admit it back then. Yeah, for sure. Come on down. Us old guys ben at each other. Like, Bandy! Yeah. Back then, we were both white belts. Actually, I think he was only a blue belt when he got into the UFC. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, like... Uh, Sean from Sussman and Gray, we trained together as like white belts in college. That's fun. <laughs> yeah. Black belts at a show, you know. It's yeah. crazy. That's great. Yep. Ben Lundy coming in here. Made <laughs> is that made so BJJ? I, 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 I'm not sure. I just got a comment on his uh, on his rash card here that says "talk less." He gave me zero information. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a few words. Yes, he is talking the talk and walking the walk. Playing Sometimes I think. Yeah, nice. Oh, oh, back up. The the word stoic comes to mind yeah. when we talk about Ben Lundy. You'll Our ref Aaron Man, has his work words. cut out for him. He has to pull him yeah, off one side and push him off the other side. Yeah. They get wild. Bad going for, yeah, trying to go for a sweep. Both of them, Ooh, yeah. Cool. Got the wizard, the underhook. They're both going for a trip. Again, if you're watching on the live stream, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can participate in the chat. We want to hear your predictions. We want to hear who you who you are rooting for. Got a nice control for the butterfly. Head yeah. control hooks her in. It, but uh, looks like he's getting some pressure. Is it just a shorter lock or he has his head in there as well, right? Oh, uh, yeah, he's got the arm and the head together. Arm and head, yeah. Could go for Not a, now. Just on the arm. Going to play a little shin to shin. I like the invert there, potentially to roll him over, but good balance for Gavin in that, or, yep, for Gavin in that situation. Looks like uh, Ben's toying with entering on the legs. Mm -hmm. Seeing if he can lift them. Yeah, just seeing where he can get Gavin off balance here a little bit. I think he, he probably, yeah, either trying to sweep. He might have to pummel for an underhook if he wants to get underneath, though. Referee pauses the action. He's going to bring him back into the center of the mat. So as Marissa was saying there, if, if Ben can get Gavin up, especially if he can get one of Gavin's feet to plant on okay. the mat, you he's know, he could potentially lock. Underhook there, but you can see he's giving him pressure towards that side because he knows that's where the entry's at. Yep. He could potentially lock in some sort of leg submission there. Playing with double overs now. Trying to go maybe to a little balloon elevator style sweeping. Great balance here by Ben, not get, uh, giving in to these sweeping. Yeah, playing attempts. a wide base. And we're back into the throws. A little judo action. Off They've the gone off every go. side of the mat except <laughs> yeah. for the uh, side that doesn't have a side. Is there an award for getting the closest but not falling off? <laughs> Most ground it's covered like the on the mat. quarter game where you slide it across the table. Uh -huh. <laughs> Back in the cafeterias mm -hmm. of visitation, I recall those days. <laughs> nice oh, pass. Nice pass. Oh, almost yeah, got there. Almost right got Good guard retention. Immediate recovery, yeah. Playing yeah, a little ben, half butterfly. Yeah, is Ben going for a Kimura there? I can't tell if he's got a... It looks like he's no. a, like, just scooped under. I don't okay. know. He might have it back here. I think he's got that far oh, hook Oh, yeah. In. If yeah, Gavin does. To the side, he's he does have one. He's only got one hook so far. Yeah, he's got one hook. But that now, other do you one prefer looks like it might be soon to follow. Marissa, would you roll to your side that you have the hook? Or, yep, like, like yeah. he did there? It's kind of dependent on what they're giving you to, though. Sometimes back the better is. option is to just stay on their back and smash them flat. And good control there for Gavin to just yeah, go straight to that mount. Yeah, this is going to be a tough spot for him. Mount is so hard to, to deal with in general. Very dynamic. Coming up, rolling up for those arm bars. Yeah, we're halfway through this match, and they have not stopped. They've been on every corner of this mat, and they continue to move. This, this looks is like when Arlo and Martin grow up. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just non stop mm-hmm. That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting when both competitors are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. You can sometimes get these stalemates. Uh, you don't get a, a lot of transitions. But as I say that, Gavin, getting around Ben's guard here. We like to play this case of position like this. A little bit of a kickstand leg, underhook, kind of sit through halfway. Yep. And he's almost... But he's got that yep, deep yes. underhook on this side, so he might be looking to ghost come out the back door. Yeah, I think Ben's trying to do that, and I, th- I think Gavin's doing a good job of keeping his arm under Ben's head so he can't ghost escape as easily. Ben, nice job getting his knees in to reposition here. Yeah. TJ Zanatti says it's hot in the building. TJ Zan, yeah. She's, cre- <laughs> she's creating the heat. <laughs> Somebody she's getting get... hot watching jiu-jitsu is what she's telling me. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. If you're a man, come try jiu-jitsu. <laughs> get the ladies. Oh, Gavin going for the head there. Ben slips out, though. Uh, I was looking to see him come up there, but chose to stay on his back. He's definitely looking for some guard positions. Gavin with a nice right mount take. Yeah. Mount. Yep. And he's... Great vine of the legs there. Keeping high pressure on the chest and the chin there. Um, yeah, it happens. If I'm bent on the b- bottom, you know, it would be, you know, might behoove him to get to a, a hip here. Right now I'm giving this to, to Gavin just based on the two dominant mounts and yep. being more top position. And one minute left. Yeah, I mean, we saw Ben really throwing everything he could at him to get one of those butterfly sweeps, but Gavin doing a great job of keeping his balance and eventually passing guard, and this is his second time in mount now, so that could be enough with just under a minute left. You know, when you're matched, playing on bottom actively is great, but when someone's matching you on top, guard is always a defensive position. There's there's no way around it. Oh, Ezekiel Certainly. attempt here. Yeah, he is going for Ezekiel, which Punch is choke. effective from that oh. position little, there. Little fist in the throat. And maybe? I don't see Ben setting up a, a, a potential sweep here. It looks like his hand's kind of stuck under his belly there. I don't know if he could even defend it if he wanted to. Mm-hmm. He might be looking for the legs there, too. So. Good shoulder pressure from Gavin, but his shoulder pressure is a little bit high on that chin. It looked like he was trying to pummel his foot out so he could try to work out. He's going to set oh, up a back take, take again. again. Short choke again. No, that on the chin, but that can still be nasty. Still going for Especially it. Especially with big, strong Man, guys like this. that crush is so rough. Yep. Yeah. I heard somebody say once, anything below the eyes is a, is a neck. Oh, totally I like the smoke. <laughs> Gavin with the e- extra effort at the end. Great match. Yep. Great match. That should be enough to get him to victory, I think. Yes, indeed. Good Gavin. effort there. Another Gavin. fun match to watch. Day. One, two. I need some volume on the mic. Mr. Sound Man, let me get a little bit more on the mic. One, two, one, two. One, two. One, one, two. Here we go. Gavin based it, y'all. Uh-oh. Right on. Come on over here. Don't beat me up, brother. I'm a musician. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. I want you to give a shout out to your people out there. Uh, yeah, thanks for all my buddies. Come out and watch. Cam Sullivan is a coach, and uh, that's it. All right, family and coaches, make some noise. 